In this tutorial, I am going to show you a slide that can be used for brochure design or you can use this as a cover page for your annual report for magazine or you can use this as an intro slide of your presentation. As you can see here in the center, I have used a round geometric shapes on polygonal background and I have added one more image of the Empire State Building so that this image can be replaced with your business image and at the bottom I have put a shadow effect and then on the top right left side I have used the annual report as the title and on the bottom right side I have used the results and awards as a subtitle and some more details at the bottom you can replace with and at the left bottom I have just put the company name and logo which you can replace with your own company name and logo and apart from this one I have just added one more slide with a little change as you can see here this is a plain background and this particular slide I have just used a cross lines as a background to give more professional look so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint in this tutorial I have used two images which I have downloaded from the internet on the right side you can see here the Empire State Building and the other one is the abstract geometric shapes so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and go to view enable the guides then I'm going to insert two oval shapes first go to insert shapes and from basic shapes select the circle hollow just click it and then go to the height and width the size and make it 5.25 and go to align center align middle and shape outline remove the outline and then I'm going to add one more circle go to insert shapes and add a oval shape just click it and I'm just for the time being I'm just changing this color shape outline no outline and the size I'm going to give as 3.3 .3 inches and then go to align center and align middle now it's time to add the images which we have downloaded from the internet on these circles now i'm going to select the the bigger oval shape and then go to fill select picture or texture fill and by default i have selected before that's the reason it's coming so you can just go to insert from file and select this picture which I have downloaded from the internet and just say open so this particular uh, image will be added and for this I'm just going to add a different picture go to again picture insert from file and I'm going to select this Empire State Building and you can see here this image has been added and you can just play with this offset so example I just want to make it in the center a bigger one yes and for this I'm just going to give a white outline give a white outline and you can go here and increase the width something like this and once this is done I'm just going to give a shadow effect go to insert shapes and I'm going to set an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this and then I'm going to use a gradient fill by default you have got four stops let me just delete the two stops and shape outline I'll make it no outline and here I'm just going to select the, the type as uh, radial and the direction I'm going to select this one which is from center so this stop one I'm going to select a black color which comes in the center and here I'm just going to select white color for the stop two and transparency for the stop two I'm going to make it 100% and this also I'm just going to increase the transparency sorry the transparency for this one and then go to effects soft adjust increase the size so you can see here you got this shadow effect 
if you want you can increase further and there's a black dot there so i can just increase the transparency level from this so you can see here our the shadow effect is ready and then you can go and add the the headlines for example i'll just say annual report and you can just give any font for example i'm just going to give this font increase the size make it bold and press ctrl d to duplicate it and you can add some more details some subtitles here i will just say that results and rewards and you can add the detailed text at the bottom i'll just say equals lorem within brackets some latin text i'm giving so that you can change the text later on i will just give the same font reduce the size change the color and and this side you can add your company logo so this is the simplest way you can make a a slide cover page for your annual report that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye